Sorry guys, I ran out of like space on my laptop. Um, so this video got cut off. Um, same for like my previous video, that's kind of why it ended so abruptly. But yeah, I believe I was just mentioning how God really wanted me to have that kind of relationship with him for like a long time and I didn't really fully understand it. Um, he wanted me to know that security that I had in my relationship with him. And I feel like it's not really talked a ton about in the church. So yeah, but, and I was so like scared of that for like a long time to have that both because like, I didn't understand God wanted that with me, but too, like when you go through different things, you can, feel like your trust of people is just broken, let alone like if you go through things and you wonder why you went through certain things and it can feel like it's hard to like trust God and trust that he wants good for you and that he really truly loves you. Um, so I just, I just want um, this video to be a reminder of that, not only that, and like my previous video, but just all my videos to really be a reminder of that. Um, but for me, that was one of the biggest things as far as restoring a sense of safety in my life. Like it helped me not be in such a state of fight or flight all the time. There's definitely more components of that, but just when people hurt you, I understand it can hurt terribly. When people um, go she or leave your life, I understand that can really hurt too. And um, there's a certain feeling of unsafety we can feel where we feel like we're not even safe, like being ourselves or in social situations a lot, because maybe we've gone through painful experiences, um, or maybe we carry those beliefs that, you know, no one loves us or, or no one would want to um, be friends with us or whatever the case may be. And when you've been through different experiences, it can really shape your views of that. Um, and a lot of times that's kind of where those beliefs come from. So just understanding that even if you don't feel that sense of security, when it comes to human relationships in real life, when it comes to being around people, because I understand just being around people can literally just like trigger a ton of anxiety where I just, you know, I felt on edge all the time because of different experiences I had been through. And, you know, my mind was just bringing up those experiences, reminding me of them, not because they were evidence or truth of anything or those things that question all myself, but because your mind does that to protect you. It reminds you of those painful experiences simply to try to keep them from happening again. So even though it's really frustrating and, you know, doesn't like help us, it doesn't help to be in fight or flight all the time. That's the only reason your mind is bringing that up because it was painful for you and it wants to try to spare you from that pain. I hope you can remember that too. Anytime you do feel like fight or flight symptoms or anxiety coming up or like just these painful memories of things, I hope that that is something you can be reminded of. Even though it doesn't take away that pain or that anxiety or the intensity of those feelings, understanding that um, that is what is happening kind of on a deeper level, I found can help take some of the power away from those feelings and those sensations when they feel very strong so and overwhelming. So when I really started learning how to rest in God's love for me, that no matter how people have treated me, and even though that anxiety was still present, that when it came to my relationship with God, that there was safety and security, that there is safety and security in his love for me. And all the other attributes of God, 
um, which maybe I can do a separate video on, but this will get very long if I start going into that. But I want you to understand that um, I think it's so important when you're in that place of fight or flight or you're showing with other symptoms um, or anxiety or even depression or anything like that, or you've been through anything, or just in life in general, I think it's so important to just have a safe place, you know? Like for me, I mentioned like my heart rate would not be at rest. Like my heart rate literally would not rest. Like my heart did not know how to be at rest. And it's kind of a deeper emotional kind of thing that, my heart didn't have a place to rest, and I want you to know, because I don't know if this is true, but maybe so many of you feel this way, that that um, our heart has a place to rest in Him and suffer us, and I, just, I want you to know how much He loves you, and that that is a love you can rest securely in, and I want you to know, like, when you come to the Lord, that you can just be honest with Him, that He loves you, that he wants to be close to you, that he wants to show you his love. Like, if never, if no one has ever um, showed that to you or wanted to show you that to you or made you feel wanted, I, I want you to understand, like, he is the person that, that wants to make you um, feel that way, um, that he, he wants to be close to you. He wants to love you. He wants to be with you and, and loves being with you and um whatever you are feeling you know and he wants you just to be honest with him to know that you feel like you can't be honest with anyone else that of all people you can be honest with your heavenly father that he loves you he wants you to know his love and that how we are secure in his love. His love is, is secure. And going back to what I said about you know, having a safe place, you know, maybe you have felt like I have, or if it was like nowhere is safe, where, I mean, literally like my heart rate would not just be at a place of calm, you know, I felt like it couldn't be at a place of calm. Excuse me. I was in like fight or flight all the time, and I felt like nothing could shut it off. And you know, this summer is really when the Lord was trying to teach me about His love, and really trying to show me that my relationship with Him, you know, that there was security in that, there was safety, there was rest in that relationship. And, And I really love kind of the last thing that um, I had mentioned um, in the previous video. Well, not the very last thing, but the last part of the message. And I had said you can rest forever in his arms. I really believe God wants us to know that there's, there's rest forever in his arms. And I want you to understand that, that his arms are always reaching out to you, to love you, to lead you, to guide you, to like work with you and, and partner with you um, and just have this relationship with you where um, if there are things you're struggling with, like he wants to help you. And he wants to know that in that process, that his love is secure for you. His love is unconditional for you. Right? No matter what the prodigal son had done, the father, the father loved him. He, he, didn't, he didn't just... Love him, right? He didn't just 
love him with words, I mean, or, you know, waited till the sun came to him. I mean, he goes chasing after him, like sprinting after him, just because he sees him coming in the distance. And I want you to understand that is the love that he has for you, but he's always running after us because he loves us. I want you to understand. And I, I want you to understand that no matter what you've done, no matter what anyone has said to you, no matter how anyone has treated you, or made you feel, or no matter what you've heard in the church, or maybe the church has told you personally, I want you to understand that. He is the one running after you, chasing after you, sprinting. After you, running straight towards you, always reaching out to you to spend time with you, not to point out everything you do wrong, but literally to love you. And I did not understand that for a long time. But I, I want you to know that, and I want you to understand that. He wants to be with you to spend time with you, to love you. I really hope you can take that in. I really hope a lot of these messages are really ministering to you and speaking to you. And I really hope that you feel the Father's love for you in such a tangible way. And that is just bringing healing and restoration to your heart. His peace that surpasses all understanding. And I really believe um, that has been one of the big things that has really healed this part of my life and gotten me out of just being in that constant fight or flight all the time. It is knowing I can run to my Heavenly Father, knowing I can be honest with my Heavenly Father, be honest that He wants me to talk to Him and my pain to him, that he is the one I can bring all my pain to, that he is holding me secure, that his love is unconditional for me, and it's a love that I can rest securely in, no matter how other people may treat me, no matter the beliefs I've carried about myself, no matter um, the, the pain that I have felt in my life, that his love is secure. That his love is, is, is inseparable and that there is rest in him, in his love. That I can rest forever in his arms. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video or these couple videos that ended up being split into two. I really hope that they can speak to you in some way um, and just really minister to you in the way that God has used these messages to minister to me and, and have really been life-changing for me. Um, and I really hope that if you are struggling with like feeling unsafe or feeling fight or flight symptoms or anxiety symptoms, um, whether it's uh, related to social things or anything else, I really hope that this message can just really ease the anxiety you may be feeling and just calm your fears. And I hope that knowing the security of his love, that it would start to change the way that you see yourself that that love would just 
can shift things in the life. I bring healing, that I would bring restoration to any parts of you that have felt unloved or to any pain that you have experienced at the hands of people that have made you question your own lovability, that have made you question your worth and value as a human. And I just, I hope that this message but just sink into the deepest places of your heart, the most wounded and, and bruised and, and broken and bleeding places of your heart. And I pray that it would just bring healing and it would just fill those empty spaces in your heart, those hurts, those wounds, that pain that you've carried. And I hope that you would start to feel a sense of safety. That you are loved. I can't do anything to ever change that. And, and you're not only loved, but by, you're loved by the creator of all things. You're loved by the very one who gave his life for you so that he would never be separated from you. And I hope you take that in and know that you know, he, he loves being with you. He loves being with you. He's his child. He loves spending time with you. And he loves to show his love to you all the days of your life. So thank you so much for watching. And I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you're doing all right. God bless you guys.